So this question says from the top of a 20 meter high building. Okay, which one is that? No, oh, that's this one right here. It's given in the diagram. This is the smaller building that's 20 meters high. A surveyor measures the angle of elevation to the top of another building and the angle of depression. So we've talked about angle of elevation and that's this one up here. From this vantage point, the angle of elevation would be from the horizontal up. So that's 30 degrees. That's angle of elevation. And then angle of depression. Depressed means to go down. So here's the angle of depression highlighted in the diagram there, 15. Okay. So we have, <coughs> you should see that we have actually two right triangles if we make this imaginary line straight across from the top of the other building. Okay. The surveyor sketched his plan for his measurements, determined the height of the taller building to the nearest tenth of a meter. So in this question, what we need to do is to find the height of this tall building right here. Okay, we don't know what it is. And how are we going to do that? Well, we've got um, a few things that are given, and if we can find this side right here of this right triangle, and if we can find this side of the other right triangle, we can add them up. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. Now you look at that and you may say, well, I'm given two angles, but I'm not given anything else. I'm not given any other values. Well, does anyone see the value that's hanging out over here? Where would this 20 go? Where else could we put it on this diagram? Yeah, do you see how this imaginary line right here is coming into play? Mm -hmm. This is 20 meters from the ground right here. So that's actually the opposite side of this triangle to 15. So I'll just draw that right triangle over here. Okay. This is 15 degrees. This is a 90. And this is 20 over here. 20 meters, and we'll do the units later. So that's, that's great. Um, I don't actually need to find anything here. I've got 20. But what do I need to find this length in this other triangle? I need to have one of these lengths, don't I? I need to have this length, or I need to have this length. So how can I use the information given here to find this length right here? So that would be this one. You see that? I need to find this length because I need to use that for the second triangle. So what trig function helps us find that question mark there? Tan, you think? Okay, let's see. Toa. Uh, to tan involves the opposite and the adjacent. So from 15, it looks like this 20 is the opposite. Okay, that's good. And then this is the hypotenuse because it's always opposite the 90. So you're right. This is the adjacent. Okay, very good. So let's use tan. Tan of 15 degrees equals the opposite. That's 20 over adjacent. Okay, so if I solve for adjacent, I need to get that up to the other side. And so I'll multiply adjacent by both sides, which will bring it up over here. And the tan 15 will divide by both sides by tan 15, and we end up with this, right? So in a simple proportion, those two just switch spots. <coughs> okay, so we'll do that calculation real quick here. 20 divided by tan of 15 equals 74.64. Hmm. Okay. Now, this diagram right here appears to be, you know, fairly reasonably uh, um, uh, to scale. Okay. We don't know if it's exactly to scale, but do you see how if this is 20 meters right here, this this is about 20 meters here. Okay, see it's about the same height as the uh, same length as the height of the building. So we got 20, we've got about 40, we've got about 60. So could this be 74? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. So we say that the distance between the two buildings now is 74.64. Okay, whoops, not degrees. Uh, that'd be meters. Okay, so that's that's good. We have this piece now. So I'm going to write that here, 74.64. Awesome. Now can I find this length right here? The answer is a resounding yes, and I'll draw that uh, triangle uh, just over here a bit. Okay, this is uh, 30 degrees. 
we now know that this is 74.64 and now I can find this little piece right here, the question mark. And what trig function relates this angle, the opposite side and the adjacent side? Which one is that again? Yeah, that's tan again. So tan's pretty popular here. So you go ahead and you fill out tan of our angle, which is 30 degrees, equals the opposite side, don't know what that is, divided by adjacent side, 74.64. So you set that up, tan equals opposite over adjacent, and we'll multiply both sides by 74.64, and that should get us the, uh, the length of that side, and then we're almost done. <coughs> And this is exactly how you should um, show your work, okay? Um, I'm modeling this for you. This is what I'll expect for full marks on an exam or something like that. So if you do all this on your calculator but don't show me any trig functions, no relationships, no work, you just show me the answer, um, you know, you're not going to get full marks even though it's the right answer, okay? Because the uh, process is really important. And as you guys move through high school, you're going to have to rely more and more on your methods, your process. So that's why I want to make sure that you're doing that. So 43.09. So this is 43.09 meters. And as we said in our diagram before, we want uh, this length plus this length. So do I add 43 and 74? Is that what I add to get the answer? Oh, very good. <coughs> so this is the 43.09. And then that's the 20 that I add. So the height of the building is uh, 43.09 plus 20 meters. Um, so height is 63.09. Now, if, if it asks for the nearest, you know, tenth of a meter or to the nearest meter, you might just say, you know, 63 meters. Height is 63 meters. And again, a word problem deserves a word answer. Just so you, uh, just so I'm, you're clear on what you're finding and what you found, and make sure you have units. It says, it's a it says tenth. Okay, that's fine. If the book says tenth, then what would be the answer if it was tenth? Sixty-three point one. Very good. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. It says tenth right there. Good. So let's let's just adjust that, and then we'll be done. Thank you for pointing that out. Sixty-three point one meters. Everyone agree with that or was there any any mistakes there that you saw or any questions you have? Alright. Any else? Anything else? Okay. So there's your uh, there's your question. That's your second example. So here's one for you to try. There's a, what you're finding is the height of this taller building, okay? And so what's happened is this person has, has set up, um, uh, set up a camera or a transit or something at this floor right here, not at the very top, but at this floor. And so this is the data that's given. And of course, I'll just give you a little hint here on this triangle. This is 39 right here, right? Same height. So go ahead and give that a try and see how you do with that. All right, so here's the solution to this problem, just like the one we just did. Uh, this is 39, this is the right triangle. This is opposite, and this is adjacent. So we need to find this adjacent side for the second triangle up here. So in finding the adjacent side here, you should have a value of 43.3 meters, okay? Now, when it says to the nearest meter, here's a, here's a hint, okay? Everyone listen very carefully. Please do not round your answer to the nearest meter during the question while you're doing all this because if you have several measurements that you have shortened off and rounded up and then when you get to the very end and you add those all up you might be off a meter so keep the decimal places as many as you can during the question and then just round at the very end Okay. so um, what I've done here is I've kept all the decimal places on the calculator uh, you know, and just written down the, the first one or two. So just remember, don't, don't, um, uh, don't round too early in the question. Okay, so 43.3 for this side right here. So we'll do opposite and adjacent with angle 31. 
and uh, of course we get 26. Add those two together to the nearest meter, you should have 65. Any questions about that?